Yo, what is good, everybody? What is good, yo? So, did we really just get this weird episode this week? Like, I honestly don't understand anything where it comes down to we get something very close and someone even stating that you know it's in the ends of you know progress it's in the final stages and all this different stuff but then somehow some way the episode seemingly isn't going to end because we see the previews and Borento seemingly is going to still have to try to find this heart which you know, the old man supposedly is going to teach him how to do so, which I don't understand why he didn't do it in the first place. So he could get out and get to his plans. I guess he thinks Borinto is that much of a threat to his, uh, you know, just the overall outcome, I guess. But with learning that Ku or KU is a creation from this old man, and not only a creation, I think he is the one that might be created a little bit different than the others and the only reason why I say this one his pigment compared to the others um, is almost like as if he put his own uh, life like his own DNA into this clone that we're looking at and then the other thing is when we're looking at um, the overall like plan and stuff like that the only one who truly wants to follow it to a T and like actually have it done right and you know not re disrespectful and stuff like that is uh you know this guy who seemingly is the son or like the the clone of the old man so it's interesting to me that he and that's not even the only thing that draws like the conclusion that he pretty much has the dna of this old man um, the other thing that really draws that conclusion is he uh, can do the 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 planetary ah, I forget what it's called but the old man can pretty much do these giant like white orbs that can destroy pretty much any and everything that it touches and that is something the the um the clone used like effortlessly he used that and that is also the reason why the old man was like on the run this week so to know that he has the power of someone like him it puts his character much higher on uh, a level of he could return but at the same time with him getting into this it makes it really hard to I mean look at Orochimaru okay anybody can really change quote unquote Anybody can really get a second chance is what I'm looking at. And Borinto, Naruto, you know, they're, if Borinto becomes any bigger than he already is in the Hidden Leaf Village, like people listen to his words, the people like this uh, Ku guy might have a chance of, you know, living in this in the village if Borinto, you know, sees something in him. Because what I don't think the old man understood about his uh, ideals or his way of uh, protecting the young people in the sense of he made these people to take the fall for them um, one of them is practically a human as it is and that is the one that you know has his techniques and all that stuff he seemingly is at the level of intelligence and at the level of um, not intelligence but <sighs> capable he's you know, he's capable and dependent. That's what the word I was looking for. They are more dependent than, um, you know, the others. And we see it this week with them already starting to break. Not to mention the guy who brought Mitsuki here, who's supposedly the closest to knowing how humans are, was already breaking. And seemingly he's fine. So I guess they just need to uh, re-up on whatever it is that they take to, you know, get back into it. So it's 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 just an interesting uh, altogether way that they're showing us, you know, just how this stuff is all falling up uh, into play. And I, I'm kind of enjoying it, but it did feel like 
this whole thing could be useless and I only say it could be useless because for one thing if the whole entire uh, operation can be distorted or defeated because Bodento is not in this area that means it's not that great um, the other thing that really draws a red flag that I think might be something that uh, we're just not noticing that they're kind of giving us the answer to of how some things are going to turn out um, and that is the instance of showing Shikadai in the preview supposedly getting uh, tested on by the doctor who showed up with the clones and stuff so if and I, I only say that's really interesting and it could be some way of pushing forward the plot is only because we know for a fact that uh, him and the person who's supposedly the Hokage of this world she could easily try to formulate a plan with Shikadai. She even asked him, how good are you with your abilities, you know? So we're in a position to see Shikadai do something crazy in this moment. Um, maybe not so much crazy as, like, try to break out and run away and stuff on the fly, but maybe he can possess some people and or something and have it malfunction to give the Hokage some some type of opening to get in. I know she's not the Hokage. I, I forgot what the Stone Village version of Hokage is called. It's like Tetsukage or something like that. But um, it's just nice to know that they're slowly but surely putting all these pieces together. But it just felt so lackluster. And I was hoping for like a Bodento was in this area that time is distorted or something. You know, like a hyperbolic time chamber situation where... Um, just because you're in it, you automatically are, you know, affected by time much differently. And I thought that would have been a pretty cool way to explain why Bodento gets like some type of, you know, new technique or some type of new skill, which, uh, is not completely out of the question right now because we have, uh, you know, this old man supposedly teaching him how to find the heart stone. And if he finds this heart stone that isn't supposed to be able to be seen by certain people, I think that would be a safe indication to know that Bodento is at least gaining something. Like, he's literally been here this whole time and has had no chance of figuring out what it is or, you know, like, what it's even about. So, um, if it can be that easy not to find and then all of a sudden he can find it, it sounds like he's going to heighten his chakra... Uh, sensory or something like that uh, I'm not really sure but that's the only hope I have that Bodento comes out learning something or something you know changes within this time period but other than that guys I don't have much more to say besides like Mitsuki was the other kind of big part of this with him finally meeting up with the guy who's the mastermind supposedly but not really because the master is the old man, but he's kind of the one who's the younger uh, pusher of the plan. So it, it was cool to see Mitsuki ha have his questions, you know, asked and stuff. But at the same time, he really got no answers. So that should just go to tell you that everything Mitsuki pretty much was looking for, uh, if he wanted answers, that is was not really uh here you know it wasn't really helpful so if that's going to help him maybe push free because like the guy was saying I, we're both empty vessels what's bad about being an empty vessel um if they both if Mitsuki just wants to leave then he should be able to do so because that's his own free will to do so uh, just like how he asked Mitsuki, why didn't he ask Orochimaru what will means, you know, like he chose to do all of these other things instead of going to the person that supposedly created him and could tell him better than anybody. Um, so I thought that was a pretty good indication that this show is self-aware of Mitsuki already has a will. It's just he himself doesn't understand that he's already been doing everything he's want to do on his own free will. He's that's will, you know, and 
it makes sense that he's questioning a lot of these things, which I didn't even see get questioned in the manga. So, um, I mean, if Mitsuki ends up not having a huge giant role in the story in the manga, I think he is going to have a bigger one in the anime, regardless of what the content is in the manga. And we've seen this uh, with other series that a manga adaptation and the anime one or even the movie one, they just don't line up the same. So if that's something you guys were expecting, uh, you can kind of throw that away at this point because not only does this not feel like a filler arc anymore, I mean, it's filler to some people that, you know, already think it's not going to have any type of, you know, gain or any type of real uh, growth to it because it's not in the manga. But like I said before, we've seen these adaptations from animes kind of like, um, for instance, the best one I know is Super Saiyan Blue Goku Kaioken. Um, that wasn't shown until like tournament of power in the manga and we first saw it against hit you know what i mean and then we didn't see super saiyan god transformation in the anime until the tournament of power but in the manga we saw super saiyan god being used quite a bit and we saw vegeta switch from super saiyan god to super saiyan blue uh, for the first time too, like using it in intervals to be faster and then stronger, fast, strong, fast, strong. And all of that stuff was never added, added into the anime. And they, then they gave Goku that instead of giving that moment, uh, to Vegeta, they gave it to Goku, uh, against Disbo when he was helping out hit. These are all, you can, you can fact check me on this. Like, it's crazy to see how much of a deviation people can take with the same supposed content. They were given the same scripts, but they both took it in their own different ways. And I think that's where Borinto has already started to go and beyond with how much is actually focusing on Mitsuki as a character uh, and seemingly a little bit of Sarada here and there, but she's really a background character now. Like she shows up, what? Borinto is not here and we, we are here? Wow, that's her. That, that was all she did this whole episode. <laughs> like, come on, my anime people. This this episode felt very, very uh, lackluster for what they've kind of already shown. Like the the uh, clones are sending out all these replicas or whatever to hunt down everybody, but no one gets found. Right? Not only does no one get found. The person that gets captured is the most tactical out of all of them, and he gets captured right off the bat, and, you know, no one even noticed that. Um, you know, so it, it, it was a really weird situation with this episode to have any type of action pop off last week and then just completely dial it back and completely do nothing with it. So let me know how you guys are feeling. Uh, if Board and Toe is something you guys might drop relatively soon, or if you even caught kept up at this point because i know people who listen to reviews before they actually watch or you know actually see the show because they just don't care um for you know like the actual story that's going on right now they're just waiting for certain aspects to start kicking in which i understand but at the same time um as someone who watches the animes it feels a lot better to see any type of inf uh influence uh any types of little hints or you know moments that might lead us to where the good stuff is you know like those type of tidbits uh those are the things i like to actually see f firsthand without having someone else just tell me blatantly about it so what until i'm praying has some more moments where they're going to set up something really huge seeing how this arc is really leading on this should be an arc where maybe Mitsuki shows Bodento, uh sage mode and that's kind of like where it ends and they just doesn't ask any questions about it after they leave this whole thing but I think at the end of this Bodento should at least know of sage mode like he should see it in action maybe not say anything to Mitsuki about it or he should be able to see it in action and then uh, Mitsuki's completely worn out and Bodento carries him home or something you know so 
There's many ways this can end. I just don't know if it's going to end great. So if it does end bad, if it does end good, I will be here with that review. And I hope my anime people had a great day, evening, night, whatever the case. I will talk to you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for the support. And with that, peace.